Hey everyone, hi, how are you? For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Winter and I am Claire Cognizant, clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, and some of those are a bit stronger than the others, but uh, uh, anyway, so I use my gifts and abilities as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages for you. And if you are interested in your own personal private reading, please feel free to send me an email and this, uh, I'm coming up on my first week here in my new apartment. I just moved in on Friday, my very first <laughs> apartment um, uh, that is my own. And I am just so excited to be here. And there were um, a few people that asked me to create a wish list so that they could send me uh, some housewarming things and much needed things. So if you are interested, the link is in the description box. If it's not, it's only because when I'm channeling, I, you know, I, I could potentially forget. So I will put it there when I remember or as soon as I remember. Um, and I just want to thank you all so much for being so proud of me and being so supportive and um, showing me so much love and I, I just want you to know that m my heart is like just so full like just so full like if uh, if everyone around the world could always be like that all day every day with each other lifting each other up oh my god could you imagine what a wonderful place it would be that we we could live oh but that is my reality right now so um Anyways, uh, also, um, if you're interested in a personal private reading, for, I mean, if, if you're interested in a chance to win a free reading, um, I do that uh, on the first of each month. And the person that won this month uh, had theirs, uh, their reading delayed because of my move. I just happened to be going through the move while um, when they got chosen. But anyways um uh, if you are interested in winning a free 15 minute reading all you have to do is be subscribed like the video and comment and then also if you leave crystal ball emojis in the comments uh randomly i will be doing prophecy readings where i'll do a collective prophecy reading and then i'm going to choose like a handful of people to get their own um personal um prophecy message in that particular uh prophecy reading like at the end of the collective reading there'll be a few that get that so continue to keep putting those crystal ball emojis whenever you think about it in the comments and i'll be doing another one of those once i get settled in so it'll probably be maybe sometime next week so yeah Alrighty, um, these are some cards that I actually pulled out already. I'm gonna just read this to you guys and then do another message because I was just kind of pulling cards and it ended up turning into a collective reading that Spirit was like, I needed to kind of get out there because there was someone that needed this message. And then I'm gonna put these back up and then do another um, little message for you guys. Um, so um, I've got the clarify your desires that came out with give less, um, uh, you know what, and then um, also practice gratitude. Um, and then I pulled one card from this deck over here to kind of uh, get an overall message. Uh, and then, um, so anyways, we're gonna start over here with this clarify your desires. Um, I want to first start out by like saying if you found your way to this message and you did not click off automatically and you're like hanging around to listen to this message, baby, you have got sweet rewards coming like you you've been working on something. OK, you've really been putting in an effort in something like um, some area of your life. And I'm not exactly sure where this is because Spirit's giving me the impression that it's going to be different for all of you because this is a collective message. So your spirit guides, your spirits, your angels, they're all coming together to form one collective voice to piggyback, to give you all eat your own each individual message okay so this is going to be different for all of you but there's some area of your life where you've really put in a lot of effort you've really put in a lot of work and oh my gosh can you guys give me a second like oh 
let me run uh, just like right over here to grab my water because I am, uh, okay, never mind. It was over here the whole time. So sorry. So anyways, um, really think about what, where it is that you have been putting in an effort. Is it work? Is it school? Is it your spirituality? Is it your spiritual gifts? your craft, something here that you've been doing, you have been putting in some sort of an effort. Maybe it's a relationship, but spirit is like you, you single-handedly, cause it's only one B here. So maybe you've been doing this single-handedly, like alone, you've been putting in the effort in something and you're going to reap the rewards. You're going to receive the sweetness here. It's like some, uh, um, like flowing into your life this sweetness tasting the sweetness of life the the sweet nectar of life um is is coming for you so that's what's happening we've got this clarify your desires you may be feeling a bit torn in some area of your life because we do have the two of swords here when i was clarifying the card of clarify your desires so with that two of swords, like you may be feeling a bit torn in some area of your life or like torn uh, on what it is that you actually want yourself or want within yourself with that, that two of swords. You also may be um, dealing with someone else who is who is torn and doesn't know exactly themselves what it is that they want with regards to you with that two of swords showing up the two of swords was the first card to um to come out when i was pulling these cards it could be like some blocked emotions too and like you really needing to cut through um, it says here, cut through the confusion, use your intuition to guide you. So, you know, you really may be feeling like the sense of inability to kind of see the truth due to some blocked emotions, you know, uh, maybe feeling is not sure where someone's loyalty lies as well is something that I'm picking up with, you know, maybe even coming face to face with your fears so that you can get something that you desire, that you want. Um, um, really um, allowing yourself to break free from any kind of denial that you've been dealing with. Maybe you are at a crossroads and it's time to make a decision on what it is that you truly desire, that you truly want. Maybe you do need to allow yourself to have a bit of space so that you can cons consider the pros and cons in some area of your life. Like you've got a, a, dis a decision to make, um, uh, maybe regarding like a move or um, to, to get um, an, uh, to a place in your life that you're really working on or to receive, some, to get to some sort of an achievement to get to that next level in life. Maybe there is a choice here that is is causing you a lot of difficulty right now and a choice needs to be made for the good of all. And it could be that you've got the, to make this choice or you're waiting for someone to make a choice that is of the good of all. Some of you could feel as though you're maybe being strung along by someone or you could also be stringing someone else along right now because um the, it could be different for everyone but regardless maybe you are stringing someone else along right now because you're torn on um what you want You could, um, you could also be like stuck in the middle, feeling stuck in the middle of some sort of conflict.
But regardless, Spirit is saying, like, you, you've got to finally, once and for all, get clear on what it is that you actually want. Get rid of the mind chatter. Get rid of the confusion. Get rid of the denial. You know, you've got, maybe you've, you really need to gather all the facts before you make some sort of informed decision. Or you could be, you know, really trying to figure out, like, well, what is going to be the, the best decision of the good of all? What, um, and really trying to weigh out the pros and cons. Well, if I, if I decide to do this, then I've got to worry about X, Y, and Z. And if I decide to do that, then I've got to worry about X, Y, and Z, you know, type of thing. And really trying to, um figure out like um your place in this world and really consider what steps you need to take to release any emotions that are are blocking your uh progress You could be um, needing to choose between like um, two op opposing views, either like between other people or like within yourself. But with this give less Fs, okay? That spirit saying um, <clears throat> the less you care about what other people think, the better off you're going to be, you know, the happier you will be. That's going to help you feel more clear about the direction that you're headed. That, you know, giving less Fs what um, the world thinks, not caring what this person's opinion is or that person's opinion is on what it is that you do. about your goals that you have for yourself not caring what other people's opinions are giving less f's and focusing on your goals deciding what you want and going for it and giving less f's about anybody else as long as you're not causing any harm to anyone okay as long as what your agenda does not cause harm and people's feelings getting hurt that's not that's not hurting someone's soul you know they're just gonna you, you, that that's their journey they're gonna have to worry about that but focusing on your particular path and the goals that you have at hand other people's decisions other people's thoughts feelings that those don't matter when it comes to your life right now You know, um, thinking about your long-term goals, you know, putting yourself first right now and being like, and just feel like, okay, this, this decision, this is up to me. And it's like the page of pentacles too. It is a card that it says, jump in and seize opportunities while you can you know, it's it's a card of the, it tells you that if you make the right decisions now and put in the groundwork that you're going to achieve long-term success. So give less Fs about what other people think and really focusing on your your goals make, and making the decisions that are right for you and only you. Also, too, um, I don't know why the sign of cancer is popping up really strong. So there could be um, some changes that are happening for you. I'm going through changes. That song just... But anyways, there could be some changes that you may be going through or like something significant that uh, about the month of, of July um possibly june the end of june to the end of july or um there's something 
profound or something significant, doesn't necessarily have to be profound, but something significant um, about uh, the up and coming month of July or June, July. Um, I'm also seeing too, this is very specific. This is not for everyone, but I'm, I'm seeing someone getting an approval for disability. So, um, if you have applied for like disability or like SSI or something along those lines, um, I am seeing that you, um, can, um, can expect to receive that. Or like if you're dealing with someone who is um, uh, waiting to hear about that, that is just something that I just picked up. And again, that's not for everyone, but it is. Uh, if it's for you, you're going to know if it's for you or not. And then the next card we've got is practice gratitude. And that is clarified by the Ten of Cups and the Justice. And I'm going to tell you what, the Ten of Cups, this is a card of counting your blessings. So Spirit is like saying, take time to acknowledge each and every one of your blessings that you have and the ones to come. And this is in the future. So baby, you've got blessings coming. And with the Justice card, this is what you deserve. This is the karma that you deserve for everything that you have um, the blood, sweat, and tears, the rewards. You deserve this. This is karmic justice. You receiving um, so many blessings that, that you deserve. This is happy unions. This is like, this is um, luck. This is an overall sense of well-being, fulfillment. This is fate. These are fated to you. This is destiny. Being, um, and so really taking time to be grateful and thanking spirit, thanking the universe, thanking source for these amazing blessings that you have and the ones that are on the way. It's like spirit saying that everything you need, you should have an abundance now. Like you're going to start to feel so blessed and that feeling of just feeling blessed is, you know, just being in that place of gratitude. Like you're finally getting what you deserve. Finally getting what you deserve. Um, feeling a sense of peace within your family feels like people getting along and and we've got finally here though like it goes from the two of swords so those two swords to the justice card with one card finally clarifying your desires and and receiving those desires that you um got clear on over here decided what you wanted decided what you deserved and finally getting that what you deserve I mean, like, what? Like, you have learned so much. You have learned so much on your journey and feeling complete contentment. Feeling completely and utterly content. Because the Justice card is also a card of life lessons and the Ten of Cups can also be like um, emotional lessons, like learning um, deep emotional lessons. And, and so now you've learned so much and being grateful for each and every one of those lessons that you've learned. This is thing, something here being resolved that's fair for you. And being blessed by whatever this is that's being resolved in your in your um, favor.
It's like the, the scales of justice are finally balanced and you are you are receiving like this 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 karma box. It's like this is making me feel like you saying thank you God, thank you universe, thank you spirit so much like being um in this um spiritual universal court of law and the the judge which is the universe making the ruling in your favor here and now you're getting and receiving the payout which is this blessings because you deserve it because you've been in these unfair situations for far too long This is you, like, finally taking time for yourself. Being able to financially support yourself. Spirit telling you to make sure, though, that you take time to be in this place of gratitude, to spend time with family as well, or, or loved ones, or those that you consider family. This is you being in a place of gratitude, feeling proud of yourself for all that you've accomplished. This is how you're going to feel, feeling a sense of integrity, pride. You just learned so many lessons or you've learned a certain lesson. And so now, because you finally learned, you're receiving the rewards from that, the blessings. And you, are, this is just going to be you feeling just so blessed like in this place of I'm so blessed so let's pull some more cards I was just gonna like pull this up and do another reading but my um, I've got uh, a toothache actually like right in the back of my jaw where I chipped a tooth and so it was fine and then as soon as I start talking it's hurt in so I'm going to go take me some Tylenol and put some um, ointment on it. But I'm just going to pull some more cards for you guys. Look, we've got burnout. Oh my God, and luck. Look, look, a sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. That's exactly what I'm saying here. Like you're going to feel so blessed, so lucky. opportunities look I actually got this card um, uh, not long ago for uh, when I was I was just doing a live on TikTok and this card came out so look if you're watching this it's not a mistake it's not a coincidence there is um, an opportunity that's gonna come in that's gonna change your life this is exciting at times but um, it's going to be a lot of action. There could even be like some family reunions. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we are, we're coming up on uh, Mother's Day. So it could be something with, you know, Mother's Day and just feeling blessed and grateful as you're spending time with either your mother or your children. Um, and then we've got travel. So... Some of you also may be trying to decide on whether or not you're going to go see your mother or if um, your kid may be waiting to find out if your kids are going to come see you. Um, um, but others of you, like you're trying to decide whether or not you want to move or travel or if you want to um, take a new job. 
uh, or if you want to go travel to visit someone or go on holiday or something like that. I don't know why I said holiday because we do not say go on holiday in the States. So I don't know where that came from. Go on vacation. Also, it says here, ex um, exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. So, you know, if you are single, uh, definitely see um, that you could be going out, going out on, on a date, um, getting asked out, getting, you know, someone uh, asking you out for coffee or go have a drink. And then we've got communication that just came out. And then again, a reunion could bring love or a rekindling of a friendship. A lucky win seems likely. So there is a lot of um, uh, communication uh, coming in. As, and especially the type of communication where you're just feeling blessed. The communication between, even if it's just like you, between you and a friend, just talking about your blessings, you know, but there's something, some sort of communication, some, some sort of an opportunity. Also, there could be like an offer or some sort of communication coming in, um, about an, an opportunity to travel or to advance which could leave you feeling torn and and needing to like decide and we've got sunshine on the bottom of the deck and this card here is about uh the sun is shining on you career and business growth fabulous communication and relationships again like you're going to be like like i don't know it could be text messages emails phone calls you know in-person conversations but there is communications with people in your life that is just beautiful it's a, it's making you feel blessed it's like receiving good news receiving um you know, uh, well wishes, receiving um, messages from people like congratulations or, you know, just um, uh, telling you things that really just make you feel good, make you feel supported. Or that is, you know, um, uh, bringing about um, just this exciting time of change and growth for you. Mm. This is so amazing. Uh, I just feel drawn to use this other deck too. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to go take my Tylenol. I do feel someone sending me some loving energy though. So thank you for whoever that is. Because remember, there is no time and space between us. So if you're doing that, it says if you are here now doing it. The snake that eats its own tail. Have you guys watched, I don't know why Spirit's showing me this, um, the show that I've gotten into recently, it's uh, um, based on that movie War of the Worlds, and it's the same name, the show is the same name, it's on Amazon Prime, oh my gosh, and I promise, I don't have any kind of advertisers or anything like that, but I started watching it, and it like really, if you're like deep, and you're like into like aliens, and then, and like, um, you know, Con conspiracy and like um into like learning about like um going down the rabbit hole you know you just your mind likes to go down the rabbit hole like that's a great show i um i just i don't even know why i brought it up but it just popped up in my head what other messages do you have for the collective spirit okay We've got Helpless Maiden and um, Re-Enlistment. So, compute, look, it says computer, power, communication, other breakdowns leave you feeling helpless or out of the loop. Expect delays until you get it sorted out. So, there could be some, some delays in communication. There could even be, like, um... Uh, you know, like updates on phones or computers or, you know, like you just kind of feel like, okay, I don't know what the, what's going on with this. I don't know how to, you know, like do this or do that with like maybe social media or like, um, um, 
I don't know because I don't know a whole lot about like technical stuff so but that type of issue is coming in so you you know may have to kind of sort things out there and you may have um, at least in the past felt a bit helpless or have felt like you were in a bit of a tight spot um, but you are coming out of that and then we've got the re-enlistment and this is a company or former employer enlists your service again, services again after laying you off or a client returns after disappearing for a while so look someone here is coming back in so you could have clients that you have not seen in in a while that are coming back in that are wanting to like re-enlist for your help that you know um, have kind of like ghosted or disappeared for a bit because um, you know life happens um, uh, or whatever or like um, maybe you um, left a company and they're reaching back out to you wanting to work with you so you can look for that um, also too uh, some of you may like um, take like some sort of workshop for for work a work related workshop or like your um your gaining more information you're learning more about your craft or about what it is that you actually do maybe you are doing like a mentorship or something like that as well oh 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 okay and then we've got um an excellent leader a boss co-worker or someone else you encounter on the work front shows good leadership ability so you um, you could be um, dealing with like a boss that's gonna come in and be like be the example and you're gonna be able to like learn a lot from this person okay or for some of you there is a leader that is seeing that you also have the ability to lead as well i'm really feeling like emperor energy here with this card um showing up so um so it's like i'm seeing you rise into the position of 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 a leader and it's like you deserve this Your patience is definitely going to pay off. Um, if you've been really patient with um, with regards to work, finances, things like that, um, it's really going to pay off. You're going to see the fruits of your labor. Um, you're getting noticed. You're being seen, being noticed. There's um, a sense of um, like, reaping the rewards of status okay your your perseverance is is being noticed you are being noticed um just amazing good opportunities that are bringing structure and stability into your life a decision is being made for you on your behalf you know um there could be like a boss that that or like um someone that is you know um in an advanced position this could be like social media this is someone with a ton of followers or this is like um someone that's been at the company a long time but or but something along those lines but there's someone here that is going to come in and and offer you some sound advice or some, some some guidance or just you know really support you in some way um someone that um i feel like this is someone that can really help you over like the long term is really noticing you sees you um, sees the results that you are able to give but regardless there's someone here paying close attention to you and your skill set your abilities and sees your value and sees that you are knowledgeable about what you do and what you bring to the table 
Like they're paying attention. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys and I'll be back shortly with another message. Um, hopefully I am not forgetting anything. And um, you guys hear my dogs getting up. It's like a, they know that when I'm when I'm done with the reading, they always get up because they know we're going outside when I get done. And it's like that they're so smart to know when uh, when it's time to get up. When it's time, when I'm or they I'm sorry they always know when I'm finishing up. So. But this is what I have for you guys, and I will, if you want your own personal private reading, please feel free to um, send me an email and check out the description box and the Divine in Me bows to the Divine in You. Namaste.